by Vasco Char as the curtain comes down in 2017. Jar Praiser has been tipped to dominate tonight's Coca-Cola radio. Zimbabwe Top 50, following the success and popularity of his latest 14-track studio offering Kuto Ngakwaro. Jar Praiser with the $2,500 cap, the Coca-Cola Top 50 program, which will run today from 8.30 p.m. to midnight, provides a better understanding of the trending artists in Zimbabwe. Last year, veteran musician Leonard Zachta pocketed a cool $6,000 that was on offer after he grabbed the first three positions. However, this year, seems to be a different ball game, which might see the ooze Zimbabwean and bread scooping all the top accolades. A snap survey contacted by the Daily News on Sunday on the streets of Harare yesterday pointed to Jar Praiser as better placed to lift the crown this year thanks to his hit album Kuto Ngakwaro. For me Jar Praiser is the artist who deserves to be on top position. Considering that his songs on Kuto Ngakwaro are ruling the roost in almost every radio station and in virtually every social and political gatherings, Love Nista Zapazi, a music fanatic said. Another music fan Daniel Sessi concurred with the Zapazi saying the Jerusalem Mahit maker is the only artist who deserves to be crowned the 2017 champion. I would not mind if Jar Praiser tops the end of year Coca-Cola Top 50 because the man worked so hard in 2017 and his songs are being played everywhere in the country and even beyond, especially the song Kuto Ngakwaro and Much Injiko, Sessi said. The majority of music lovers' predictions are anchored on the fact that most of the big guns in the music industry have not managed to release new songs this year and these include Alec Makaso, Sulumin Shimbetu, Leonard Zakta and Oliver Mantakodzi among others. However, the annual program sponsors, Coca-Cola, said they will stick to their old way of determining the songs that will make it to the top. The organization relies on votes from January till December which could act as a crippling factor for Jar Praise's chances, owing to the fact that his album was only released in October. This would mean the popularity of a song does not necessarily translate to its end of year. Victory 2017 was a unique year as Zimbabweans saw a new political leadership in November. Our very talented and coke. Studio 2017 representative Jar Praiser was riding high with his new prophetic album Koto Ngakwaro. It was released soon, after Coke Studio but before the revolution. From available votes from January and current voting indications so far, he is pushing but may not even be in the top 20. We therefore need to prepare the fans by referring them to the format of this very popular program that ends a year and heralds another one. The show uses all weekly SMS votes to come up with the annual chart show. Coca-Cola senior brand manager Vichy Banda said. She added, the Coca-Cola Top 50 is a reflection of the songs that have been hits throughout the year, from January to December. The Coca-Cola Radio Zimbabwe Top 50 starts with Coca-Cola Top 20 which plays every Saturday between 1,200 hours, 1,300 hours. Listeners, send the favorite five songs to the number 0778230493 in the format Song 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 Song. The songs will be in the respective order, from number 1 to 5. However, our experience shows that when we ask listeners to vote for the top 5 songs of the year, they tend to forget songs that were released early in the year and focus on current hit songs only. So to give all artists equal opportunities, we combine all the votes an artist garnered during the top 20 weekly programs and tally them with the votes sent specifically for top 50. This gives Artists who released the songs in the beginning of the year a chance to be considered. Daily News